The OEM yeah Music Centre was founded essentially in 2007 and the idea is that we have a home for music in Belfast. It's a place where musicians can hang out and improve their trade. It's a place where music uh, entrepreneurs can uh, get started. And it's also a place that you can go and learn about the story of music from Northern Ireland. I am a major music fan and a major music tourist, so when I go to New York or Memphis or San Francisco or Liverpool, I want to know about the musical story of that city. So over the period of a couple of years, we started to build up a substantial uh, exhibition. People start donating stuff, so we've got gold records, we've got guitars belonging to people like Snow Patrol and Ash. And it's a very positive story for Northern Ireland. It's stuff that we're great at and that's stuff that's bringing energy to the city and to Northern Ireland as a whole. We do a Belfast Music Bus Tour and we take people around the city to places that uh, are associated with the likes of Van Morrison, with Gary Moore, with Ruby Murray, so loads going on. Things that would happen in this building would be things like um, events connected to Belfast Festival at Queen's, Belfast City Blues Festival, Cathedral Quarter Arts Festival, Open House Festival. We've put out a couple of CDs where we're pointing towards acts like Silhouette who are on the new tourist board advert. Uh, the, the phone application Belfast Music gives you a GPS guide around Belfast, the venues, the stories, the yarns. Belfast Music Week came out of a couple of informal conversations in 2010. So then the week leading up to the uh, MTV EMA Awards, we were commissioned to coordinate Belfast Music Week and there was 170 events in over 45 venues. It was a very, very, very exciting time and the whole city really responded to that. There were 35,000 people in town to see local music that week. Is there a limit to it? I don't think there is. I think we've got a long way to go yet. Everybody's coming together. Everybody is full of energy and everybody's got a smile on their face and, and that's a lovely thing to be able to show to the world.